Hello, everyone, and welcome to WTF Live, episode number 29. I cannot believe we are at episode 29, and we are actually even like a week away from Thanksgiving. It seems really crazy. It does seem really crazy. It's been well over half a year, right, since we started this, and here we are in the holiday season and still going strong, still doing this every week and every Friday. I mean, it's (laughs) quite a commitment. I, you know, every time we do this every Friday, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a Friday already, and Luann has to do this twice or three times a week. I'm like, wow, that's that's some serious, serious commitment. It's a lot of work, but we love it, so. It really is. All right, so today we are talking about our favorite designers actually so every month or so we pick some of our favorite designers and we feature their work and today is no other and we're spotlighting some of our favorites so here we are without further ado ready kim absolutely hit it all right first one is mine so this particular um is this firm is called row creative there are Philadelphia based interior design firm and they specialize in um, hospitality interiors. So if you go on their website, Row Creative, you will see practically no residential designs at all. They're really mm-hmm. all about restaurants, lobbies, hotels, bars, um, anything that has to do with hospitality around the Philadelphia and, uh, and this general area. And they are an incredibly talented team. And there, here's the quote that I pulled from their website have to read it because I thought it was really good. They said, our design team is youthful and inspired with a diverse background of skills from technical training in architecture and interior to custom furniture designs, product development and styling. And actually, if you see their work and their website is gorgeous, you will see exactly that. An incredible combination of um, architecture and ability to mix different styles and different eras. Mm -hmm. multitude of colors and just really creative the the creativity is incredibly abundant in all of their photographs and and projects obviously Um, spearheaded by Kate Rohr and uh, she is a uh, Bucks County native and the reason it kind of um saying to me is because I am here in Bucks County which Mm -hmm. is um, fairly big county here outside of Philadelphia north of Philly and uh, that's where that's where she grew up and was born. That's where I live right now. That's where my business is. So it just kind of spoke to me a little bit there. And uh, then she moved to Philly and uh, she's got uh, quite a resume behind her um, mm-hmm. in terms of education and also in terms of work. She, after the interior design school, she went to work for two powerhouses in the Philadelphia area. Number one is Daroff Design, which is a very large and prominent Philadelphia-based interior design firm. And number two is um, Star Restaurants. And uh, Star Restaurants is, I'm not sure if they're in New York, Kim, but here in Philadelphia, he is the powerhouse of the restaurant business. And, okay. and the food is amazing. The interiors are amazing. So so Kate worked for, for his construction and um, a, a, a construction management team there. So with both of those credentials behind, and, and then she worked for another firm as well. So with all of those in, incredible credentials behind her back, she decided to start her own business, I believe about 10 years ago, specializing in exactly what she was trained to do and what she did after school. And that is hospitality, like I said. So um, just really a very creative team, a dynamic team, an unapologetic personality and um, uh, really unapologetic interiors and color combinations, which I really love. So, oh, guess what? I just realized that I didn't bring up the images on Instagram. <laughs> hey, how about that? <laughs> I was going to tell you when you were done to be like, were you going to tell me? Thanks, Kim. <laughs> Do I also have like spinach in my teeth? No. Too? <laughs> when were you going to tell me? <laughs> I just wanted to let you finish talking to be like, okay, we're missing them on Instagram, but here we go. Oh, here we go. Here, I'm getting my act together here. So <laughs> here is an example of her work. This particular project is called Louie Louie, which is a restaurant in Center City, Philadelphia. And uh, here's another quote that I pulled from their restaurant just to actually University City, Philadelphia, I should say, which is by Drexel and UPenn for anybody who is not from here. And uh, so it says, Louis Louis is a French inspired uh, American bistro in the heart of University City. And uh, it's and it's known for its colorful combinations of Art Nouveau mixed with 70s vibe <laughs> that, that are combined in home decor and uh, timeless of a grand European cafe. So 
Uh, this is just one picture that I pulled mm -hmm. from the whole portfolio that Kate has on her website. And um, I love the combination of colors. I love how bold it is. I love how she truly did combine, uh, combine some of the 70s vibes as well as some um, old antique European um, vibes happening there. And also not to be dismissed is the fact that we just recently had our interior design awards, which are kind of like the Oscars of the interior design mm -hmm. award here in the Philadelphia area area. And Kate got an honorable mention for the, in the hospitality category for this project. Um, I've been to this cafe. It is incredible, not just for its food and atmosphere, but also for its incredible interior design and uh, everything that Kay did in as far as far as the build out and the decorating of the place. So I think she did a fantastic job. And for that, I have mad respect for her and high kudos. Very nice. All right, moving on. Okay. So this is a designer that we wanted to highlight. We have, um, we are very fortunate to work with JLA uh, Designs. This is Jody Berger. She is the owner and principal of JLA. They, um, their main hub is actually down in the Potomac, Maryland area. And oh, wow. they also have uh, an office up here in the New Jersey, New York area. So we do their projects up here and I work very closely to Rebecca. So it's been um, a really great pairing. So if you wanna get, if you're from that area from the Potomac, Maryland, Virginia, DC area, um, you definitely want to check out their uh, Instagram handle. And if you're also on this, you know, tri-state area up here, they also do work up here. So um, it's been a really great um, an honor for doing a lot of their projects up here in Jersey. Nice, good job. So and, this, per mm -hmm. this particular project here, this is a master bedroom that we just completed for them. And um, it's an arch window that we then had a, um, you can't see to the left of the arch is another window that also we did an inside mount uh, Roman shade. So whatever you're seeing on the right side, it's the exact same thing that's happening to the left side of that window. So um, we opted to place two pairs of stationary panels in between the windows because there was space between the arch window and then the singular window. There's mm -hmm. probably about like six or seven inches of space. So instead of just popping stationary panels on the ends and kind of having that gap in the middle between the other two windows in order to kind of connect all three windows together. We we placed just another stationary panel right there in the um, in the middle. We also black outline these panels because the Roman shades are um, black outlined so that this way could also help with any kind of light bleed or anything of that nature. And we were very fortunate that the arch didn't go up to the crown and we were able to fit the uh, rod right underneath there. And uh, yeah, so we were able to- Nicely kind of done. Get the look Nicely done. done. And and how about the headboard? Were you um, no, part of that, the headboard as well? That was just, separate. Just the window treatments, yeah. Nicely done. And you know what, the window is so wide, I think it would have looked a little strange to not to not yeah. add the additional panel the there. Panel. Sometimes you play that guessing game of like, should we add them, should we not? And in this mm -hmm. case, that was as soon as I saw the windows, because this was a new build, and I walked into the space, I said, no, we definitely need, this is a, uh, th these windows are calling for four, four panels. Nicely done. Okay. All right. Next, I want to highlight a Philadelphia-based architecture, construction, and interior design firm. And the name is Gardner Fox Associates. And uh, it's a very large firm. They have, um, quite, they have several divisions. They have a commercial division and residential division. They also do their own line of cabinetry for kitchens and bathrooms. They, there, it's two owners that have been working together for I think about 30 years, if not more. And they have quite a large team of draftsmen, interior designers, uh, support personnel. And But today, the one person that I wanted to just bring up here for our presentation is one of their interior designers. Nice. Um, and right, and that is Ainsley mm -hmm. Stewart. Hang on just one second. <laughs> You like you love it when you get phone calls in the middle of this. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and and I disappear right. I, there's black screen and there actually you didn't go. You, actually, you were still there. So that's oh, good how to bad know. that because mm -hmm. all I can. All right, good. So anyway, mm -hmm. so um, now full disclosure, I do not do any window treatment work for this firm. I just admire it from afar, mm -hmm. but I've been following them for quite some time and really have been an admirer of their amazing work. 
And like I said, they have um, really two distinct divisions in terms of mm -hmm. uh, their business. There's a commercial, like there's a building and a build out division in terms of commercial work. And there's a full blown architecture interior design for the residential business too. So this is quite a, a powerhouse of a, of a business, small business, if you can say, but I think they have maybe like 15 or so people, maybe even more um, on their staff. So really um, a lot of respect for this firm here in the Philadelphia area. And so um, Ainsley actually recently, I was uh, uh, scrolling through my Instagram feed and noticed that one of these days, just this past week, that she kind of took over their Instagram feed because oh, she's the nice. interior designer, but there's, there's a marketing person who actually does it. Um, so just to kind of walk us through the day and she showed us the various stops that she's made to visit the site and show off the cabinetry that they've done um she highlighted a meeting a client meeting that they had on site and just really kind of show it showed us different updates from various site visits it was sort of a full day of maybe like three or four different stops and meetings and uh just uh it's always good to kind of pull back the curtain and uh not mm -hmm. only show people what, do, what you're doing in the back of you back end of your business mm -hmm. or kind of how your day progresses but it's also nice to peel peek back behind somebody else's curtain and really see what their own eyes as if they had you know a camera here right to see where they're going and what they're exactly. doing what the challenges are what the uh, um tri tribulate uh, you know the wins and 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 the tribulations are of the day anyway i will show you a sample of their work so oh, oh wait hold on i gotta go back to uh, to my images you know i guess that's what happens when you get a phone call <laughs> the whole thing <laughs> goes away <laughs> so um so, so, so this particular bathroom really caught my eye. Number one is this this beautiful robin's egg is my one one color is one of my favorite colors. It's mm -hmm. actually one of the signature colors of Italia Ink. So there, right away, there's like an instant connection there. This is also a very um, representative, I think, image of the kind of work that they do. Um, it's very clean. It's very updated. It's very fresh. I mean, the whole all of their projects and photographs mm -hmm. they kind of breathe that 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 freshness and uh, you'll see you'll see that actually later on i'm going to highlight somebody else who also has a very similar type of aesthetic in terms of the freshness okay. and the crispness of their lines so it's something that i think i'm personally really drawn to so that's who i tend to highlight mm -hmm. but here in terms of the window treatment i really appreciated how they didn't overdo this window it's a single mm -hmm. window it's a narrow window but a very long one so instead of um just putting a roman shade which just treats the inside of the window or drapery panels which probably would have been too much here they covered the top of the window with a long cornice I and mean, if you can see that this is not a short one this is a long no. one there's probably a, a wall space above the window there so they really needed to bring the proportion down i really like the shape that they've created and i also really appreciate that they didn't go for a fabric that was anything contrasting or too bold they really right. kept the the serenity of this bathroom intact and so for this and many, many other qualities of this really great firm in our area, I really respect um, them. Very nice. Okay, next one up. Okay, this is um, Stacy Potos of Stacy Potos Interiors. Um, for those of you who are in the New Jersey area, this is Ken Potos, our Kravit rep's wife. So oh, nice. We, yeah, we, uh, Luann uh, was working on a project with uh, Stacy for a uh, town in LBI. Um, and I just love the way that these panels uh, turned out on this project. So okay. I wanted to highlight Stacy because it was a really cool um, detail. Mm -hmm. So what you can see here is um, you see how the windows kind of, it's like an L-shaped kind of setup. So, and you could also from the picture, see the ocean view so you don't really mm -hmm. want to cover that up but because they really wanted to go for it in terms of the window treatments what we opted to do was put the rod right under the arch window there so it's another good example of showing you that if you can't go necessarily so high this is another level i believe there's other window treatments that it lined up with um in the other part of the room that's why we opted for the rod to be at that height um and these pleats uh were a uh, pinch pleat with a button detail. So mm -hmm. normally where it pinches down, um, you just sew it there, but they, opt, um, Stacy wanted to put some, a really pretty button detail with a contrasting blue fabric that really matched, um, 
the other blues that she had in the space. These panels are stationary, but they give that fullness to them because you really wanted to add the fullness instead of it being something that normally sometimes with stationary panels will put like five, sometimes four pleats, like what we've learned throughout other videos. But I mm -hmm. like going for the fuller look here because the windows are so wide in the room, it, mm -hmm. this sitting room off of the mass in the master bedroom within the master bedroom that looks out into the water. So to give that fullness, that real luxe look for a beach house, I really think it um, it came out great. I actually, you could have fooled me. I had no idea that these were stationary. I could have totally mm -hmm. thought that these were functional they, because of the amount of fabric and the fullness that you guys can, created they there. They can move, but I, because they're of the meant ring, to be stationary. They're meant to be stationary because of the ring situation and the bracket situation. I mean, mm -hmm. the customer probably will scooch them from time and time again. But yeah, this is definitely something that um, they kind of keep close. So. I also really like that the hardware that you opted for really kind of blends with the frame yes. of the windows. So it's nothing contrasting where you artificially cut off the windows between the right. arch and the door and the, or the transom and the bottom windows. So everything has that very clean and serene look and there's no artificial cutoff. Right. So that's another thing also too to keep in mind because I know sometimes Vita and I are always preaching, look up, go up, go as high up as we possibly can. So when we show this photo and it's like, well, you're just cut it right under the arch. If you mm -hmm. put something there like a loose sight rod or something, if you find a metal rod or a wood rod that the finish is close to what's going on there, it kind of disappears to Vita's point. So it's not as, it doesn't draw as much attention where if you had put something that was contrasting or, you know, black hardware is very much in like a matte black finish. Mm -hmm. So doing something like that that creates a definitive line would definitely draw attention to the fact that we are putting the window treatment um, midway through under the transoms. Nice, nicely done. Okay, so next one up is uh, Gasic Design Group. Yes, this is a firm that we do support on their window treatment project. Mm -hmm. We've been working with them for the past, I wanna say three to four years or so. Mm -hmm. Uh, by the way, they found us through WCAA directory. Mm -hmm. So if any, any, if there are any workrooms or window treatment pros listening to us right now, if you're wondering whether you should become part of WCAA, the do answer it. is yes. <laughs> and then yes. once you do, then become part of their directory because yes, miracles do happen and designers or your clients can find you in a whole variety kind of ways. And in Absolutely. this particular situation, this was a uh, window treatments had become a pain point for this firm and you, you the pain point, grows and grows and gets to the point where a designer would be like, okay, that's enough. I really need to find something else. And she starts Googling away and, and there it is. That WCAA directory ranks nicely in, in Google rankings. And there we were, we came up for um, one of the best window treatment companies in Bucks County and in their area. So, so that marketing technique works just in case anybody was wondering. Okay, um, back to the point at hand, <laughs> that is the Gasic Design Group. So they are a team of, oh my gosh, three, about eight people or so. Wow, maybe that's fluctuate a, big firm. a little bit. Yep, there's, it's a very nice sized firm, yes. And uh, it's spearheaded by Richard Gasic. You see him here in the center. And he is an incredibly talented designer. I mean, he's been doing this for, oh, I wanna say maybe 30-ish years or so. Um, he also resides here in Bucks County he has a lot of experience in window treatments and of course the interior design and just I really admire his creativity I admire his vision and uh, just the aesthetic that he goes for is is really really pretty now they do both residential interior design they do commercial interior design mm -hmm. and they also do model homes too so we support them mostly on the residential and model homes especially actually just um uh we did a model home for them just this past year which i will um, show shortly and we're in the process of finishing up uh, fabricating another one we'll be installing it not next week not the thanksgiving week but but early the following week very so, nice this was one of their projects. This is Fox Lane um, Builder. Uh, Fox Lane Homes is the name of the builder, which is a small local builder here in, uh, in the Philadelphia area, Bucks and Montgomery counties. 
and uh, they they do beautiful beautiful work and they're really nice and just really lovely to work with as well which is always nice because anybody who's done any kind of work on model homes knows that it can get the temperature can get pretty high yeah. <laughs> on the on those projects especially towards the end mm -hmm. during that crunch time when everybody all the vendors at the end get really squeezed in for time and opportunity and availability and usually also yeah. anyone who has worked on model homes knows that that last week it's like you can have a hundred people in the house the doing install. their thing and yep. all the install <laughs> happens at the same time and yeah. you know there were so many times that we're installing like window treatments which truly should be the very last thing to go up and there's still tile work and wallpaper work and you know appliances being delivered and cleaning being done and furniture delivered and punch lists being done electric you know, electrical work um not the roughens but you know the the other yeah. ones so so a lot can go on in those last few days and uh i have been i've i've caught myself thinking that there's no way there's going to be a grand opening on saturday yeah. if today is Wednesday looking at the situation and guess what it, it, it always it comes happens. together it just happens mm -hmm. it just miraculously happens yep. so so Richard Gasek and his team the Gasek design group they work with quite a few local builders in our area here and we have Italia Inc are privileged to support them on window treatments like I was saying this is Fox Lane Builder this model is in the development called Squires Ridge and this was the great room you can see how we did three individual panels because this was a very wide bank of windows and doors and we just put um, four individual panels there one with each on short rods and uh, another thing that you may or may not see in the pictures that we added blocking and this blocking was a little bit challenging because there was a sheer fabric on the top unlined and a solid fabric on the bottom that is lined so for fabricating and also installation purposes that could be quite a challenge but here we had some some room and some height to play with and ultimately the window treatments here are not necessarily the heroes of this room but they certainly do round out the whole aesthetic and the design of the whole space so um i i personally really enjoy working with this with this uh, designer and with this whole company and and his team so and a lot of respect and kudos to them for all that they do. Nicely done. Okay. So next up is Toledo and Geller. We have um, we have these lovely ladies from Toledo and Geller. We worked on a project with them uh, in New York, and it was in a historical building where they wanted to take the fireplace out and put these glass windows. So. We worked on part of the rest of the apartment, but this was kind of, they were waiting to get the approval. And um, how it turned out and what what they were able to do, if you wanna see the before, I would say head over to their Instagram page, um, to Toledo and Geller, because you'll be able to see the before. But this, what we did was the after. And mm -hmm. what we did was we set up, uh, we just, we installed a pair of, stationary panels now you what you're seeing here is basically almost like wall-to-wall -wall glass this was not the way that this was set up prior this used to be two front it was a french door that center pane there that was a fireplace that had a wall so because this was a historical building they had to get all these things approved in order to change this out and when it came time when that was approved and we were in construction or they were in construction and i went to measure it became um where are we going to put the rod how are we going to put the panels because i wanted to frame out this so luckily since we were they were still in construction i thought of like what if we just created a pocket mm -hmm to put the drape into the pocket so that this way we're not worrying about where are we installing a rod because the window is almost, I believe that they're windows and doors, they go all the way forward to ceiling. So you're not worrying about where we're putting the rod, where we're anchoring it to. So they were able to create this niche for the drape and mm -hmm. we just put this stationary panel up there. It's hard to tell in the picture, but there is um, about a six inch banding with a 10 inch band along the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, but it was very tone on tone. So it was a very slight detail. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's the nice part that being in construction and when the walls weren't sheetrocked yet or things weren't done, that's another uh, thing that bring in your window treatment. 
you know, vendors and your workrooms in so that this way they can kind of put eyeballs on it because you might think one way and then once we go there and take a look at it, we're like, well, what if we did this? What if we created this kind of situation? Because that was the question, like, well, where are we going to put the rod? And mm -hmm. there was a big hole in the ceiling. I said, well, can we just put it in there? And what if they just finished it off and um, sheetrocked it instead of closing it up? Give me, tell me what they're going to make it and then I can make the panel that wide so that it just looks like this really pretty floating thing and it's really more about the view. You know, this really highlights the fact that it's it's important to think ahead, like way, yes. way, way ahead and to plan way ahead. And I can understand that when everything is in construction and in disarray and all you see is dust and, you know, God knows right. what else to yep. do. Because, right? um, it's, it's difficult to even wrap your head and mind around window treatments. And I think to your point, Kim, that's why it's important to maybe give yourself grace and say, okay, maybe I can't quite exactly envision what to do, mm -hmm. but let me bring in a person who does know yeah and so that's exactly what these ladies did they brought in the person you <laughs> and window works who does know who can mm -hmm. wrap their mind around because because you are not bogged down and burdened by all the other things that, you, right. that they had to worry about during that construction stage so um it, they, I think the advice that you gave them was absolutely priceless because imagine they get to the point when everything is done and pretty and closed up and they're working on paints and finally mm -hmm. are wrapping their head around the interior decorating mm -hmm. part of it. And you come in and you're like, ladies, there's no way to install this. <laughs> like, what are we going to do? Yeah. I mean, if the, the, in this situation, if we had to put it on the ceiling and do a ceiling mounted non-decorative rod, we could have done it that way. I just felt like. I mean, this is so much more unique and elegant right, and stylish right. and it's, thought it's, through. It, it just is like a little hidden gem. So it looks like it's floating from the ceiling. We would have been yeah. able to achieve that. Um, if the ceiling was, you know, sheet rocked up, why we would have come up with a different way, but I didn't want to, they went through all this hard work to really get this window and this feature in that I didn't want to ruin the integrity of the window. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. The next firm that I want to highlight is called um, Hang Page Design. They are a local Philadelphia based firm, actually located on the main line just outside of Philadelphia, but doing projects all around Philly and South Jersey. Full disclosure, we do not do their window treatments. Mm -hmm. uh, would love to, but we do not. <laughs> but it is somebody that I have followed and admired for quite a few years now and really have so much respect for what this firm has done in terms of the caliber of their project and in terms of the cleanliness of their aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I used the word clean, clean and, and, and Ooh, fresh pretty. before, and here's one of the examples of their work. And this is very indicative of the type of work that they do. You see how it's very clean, like very precise. Everything has its place. Nothing is by accident. Mm -hmm. the, the color schemes, I mean, not to say that all of their color schemes have these th this pastel feel about them. They certainly have so some bold colors and some contrasting colors too. They have great uh, um, portfolio on their website, but this is to highlight that everything is thought through and planned and methodically executed. So I really, really enjoyed this particular um, pro looking at this project and kind of examining it as well as others too. And uh, I do have to highlight the fact that the owner and the principal designer of the, uh, of the firm um, Hank, Hank Page, hence Hank Page Design. Um, he is, um, he, he's, he's, he's qu quite an individual, somebody who really listens to their customers, but also somebody who I think leverages the, the visionary, his own visionary abilities and also the creativity of his mm -hmm. team. And you can see how everything is executed with such high level of discipline. And I don't think it's by accident because he is a three times triathlon athlete. Oh, okay. okay. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I guess at first glance, it may be hard to understand how do you combine or even kind of parlay the, the such an incredible level of athleticism with interior design. But I think when I started truly examining their work and understanding how everything is, mm -hmm. is, is by plan, everything is through thought and how things are such executed with such meticulous detail, all of that takes incredible discipline. It takes dedication. 
and it takes incredible work ethic, just like just like being an athlete does. Mm -hmm. And here's an, an example of a design firm that uses those qualities that are based on personal value system and are parlayed onto the the, the business work as well. So I just thought this was really wonderful and I couldn't wait to highlight this firm. <laughs> and of course, if we can talk about window treatments just for a second. So what, we, what we're seeing here is a straight inverted pleat valance with, uh, with drapery panels. And I would assume that these are functional panels because this is a bedroom. So they would slide on the track that's installed under the valance back and forth. They provide the fun functionality, meaning the privacy, the light control. Mm -hmm. And... Um, also notice that the valance not only has the kick pleats in the corners but has the um the th uh, three kick pleats in the center as well and the center one is perfectly aligned with no. the mullion of the window so of course you know it's all those details kim that you and i look at right <laughs> so yeah. so really beautifully done and uh, again this is another firm that i have utmost respect for 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 their ethics and for their work ethic <laughs> for their dedication and for their discipline yeah, and the other thing too to note here is um, the pleat in the center, but then where the pleat just lines up where the panels, mm -hmm. how, how like, they're drawn over, and that that's where the that pleat, pleat is. lines that, up. That's, I mean, that's that's, that's hard. Very good catch. <laughs> that's very very hard. <laughs> um, and the other thing to note is the vent in the ceiling that I look up because I've got you get burned on that once, and that mm -hmm. happened to me once where it was like a four layer project. Um, I think I have photos of it, so we'll I'll, I'll bring it back and I'll show you. But yeah, I I did not look up. Yeah, and, that's really really important too. You're right. And Billy had to work his magic. So yeah, we'll, I don't we'll know how you. How, I don't know. He's got some some uh, new black magic he's, happening. He's, I don't know how you get out of that situation. <laughs> he's Houdini a lot of times, and uh, <laughs> so. But yeah, so yeah, this is another example of how you just see the valance just misses the vent, like we just make it there in time. And I know there's a lot of things when you're designing window treatments, and even if you're new to um, the window treatment market, not necessarily an interior designer, if you're another workroom and things like that, these are some key things that you have to just kind of look at the surroundings as a whole. Definitely. Good catch, Kim. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Just one second. Okay. Okay. So uh, this next designer is Susie Chusid of Susie Chusid Designs. Um, Susie was the first designer account that I ever started like managing and really started doing um, her work. Like really took the ropes from Luann. And this was one that uh, I still remember Luann couldn't make the measure for some reason. There was a scheduling conflict and you're talking about like this was 10 years ago and she's like you go and you just do it and I was like what you, got, <laughs> you want me to go and do it she's like you'll be fine it'll be it'll be totally fine you can totally do it sorry so, I just um, have to plug myself in no it's okay so it was um you know the fact that Luann trusted me and Susie trusted me and then we've had this really great relationship over the last decade um and it's been really fun working on her projects um, Susie is, uh, has a great combination of being able to do like high end with a mix of like everyday accessories or even furniture pieces that you have in your home, like repurposing them, moving them around. Um, and in this particular project, this was one of my favorite homes that she did, this dining mm -hmm. room here. Mm -hmm. So this was one that, um, was done, um, for, a client of hers in Scotch Plains and the whole house is just like, it's breathtaking. It's literally one of my favorite installs. Um, and what we did here was, uh, it was a bay window and we put this that follow the bay and Susie ah. loves a nice beefy this. <laughs> and uh, here, so we have a pair of stationary panels on the side um, just to kind of frame it out. And then the client needed privacy. So we added uh, operable shears on a non-decorative rod underneath that were able to open and close. Hey, Mimi, that were able to uh, <laughs> open and close there. And we brought the cornice 
height all the way under the crown. And by having that beefy cornice, um, there's no telling where the window really stops and starts. Because a lot of times in these in these like center hall colonial style of homes, the windows are a little shorter and you know, in perspective to the height of the room. So you can have sometimes, you know, 20 inches of space between the top of the molding and the bottom of the crown. It's like, what do you do there? So Susie has a real talent of really being able to connect the window and the ceiling together without it looking like it's overpowering or the, the cornice looking too large for the, you know, proportion of the space. So um, yeah, this is one of my favorites. And the fact that you chose a light fabric and the fabric mm -hmm. and the same fabric for both cornice and the drapery yeah. panel, I think speaks to her understanding of proportion and window treatments yeah. and in, in general, the interior design, because like you said, the cornice is uh, on a slightly oversized. Mm -hmm. So it may, it may have a ten, it may have had a tendency to look a little heavy if it were in a, um, in a darker fabric. Right. So and also it if, all Keep, light and and so keeping it light and airy exactly makes a difference. And also keeping it the same fabric, so not like having a different fabric for the cornice and a different for the panel, because mm -hmm. it doesn't, again, doesn't create those artificial lines anywhere. It doesn't break anything up right. because the ceilings are on the lower side. You really don't want to create those artificial color blockings or any kind of lines mm -hmm. that, that that would make it looking a little choppy and not, and not have the eye going continuously up mm -hmm. and down. Yeah. So nice. that was this project here. Nice, and uh, I believe this is it. This is it for oh, our lovely, for our designer <laughs> highlight for for today. Mm -hmm. So as always, we we want to leave you with some of our goodies for you. So here, mine from Vitalia Inc. is a free report, a lookbook that we put together that we call 37 and a half window treatment ideas <laughs> to use immediately, steal, swipe, and make your own. And it's something that you can get for free just by going and downloading it off of Italia Inc. website. So make sure to head over and grab yours. And then for Window Works, we have a free ebook if you're new to purchasing window treatments. It is Architectural Digest Isn't Coming, 10 Things You Need to Know About Custom Window Treatments. Luann wrote this ebook a couple years ago, and it's a really great tool to help you kind of select and figure out what um, kind of window treatment, just to kind of get your wheels going. Nice. All right, and to keep up oh. with uh, Miss Luann, because she has a lot of stuff going on, be sure to follow Luann on It's not going to happen her. on Instagram. It's just going to be on Facebook. It's all right, but if you're on Instagram, I'm sure um, follow Luann at Luann <laughs> Nigara. Um, and to listen to the audio version of WTF, which started, um, was the jumping off point for the WTF Live, head over to uh, Luann's website, uh, luannigara.com. And if you hit the podcast tab and search WTF on the right-hand side on the search uh, tool, you will find all the episodes that Vita and Luann have recorded. Uh, you just do about one a month, correct? Yep, about one a month or so. We've been doing it for the last year and a half or maybe a little yeah. bit more. And the last episode just aired, I believe, last Friday. Last Friday. So we have yep. a fresh one. Um, they came out and the next one will be sometime in December. So very good. So make sure you subscribe to the podcast too, so you don't miss the audio version. And you can subscribe. Her the Well Designed Business podcast is on every uh, podcast platform. <laughs> Nice. All right. And uh, to connect with, with us and with me in particular, please DM me, PM me, email, call. All my information is right here. I'm also on Instagram quite a bit doing these lives and just hanging out. There's lots of stories. We, <laughs> uh, we, we keep our feed uh, quite fresh and updated. We've also gotten into reels on Instagram. So yes, we, have, have. We, have, <laughs> we have a, a few already under a belt and I'm having so much fun with them. You have no idea. I'm like a little kid in the candy store with these things. <laughs> so, but ultimately, if you're an interior designer listening to this broadcast right now, and if you are looking for a for support, truly someone to have your back and to be your partner in terms of window treatments, I want you to know that Vitalia Inc. Window Treatments and Onyx can be that company for you. We are a one-stop shop, your go-to single resource for all things window treatments, upholstery, and the related projects. We're excellent in communicating, we're excellent in terms of our quality, but most importantly, and the one thing that makes us different from anybody else in our area is our incredible organizational and project management skills. So 
give me a call, give us a try. I would love to see if we can support you. All right, and to keep up with all things Windowworks, um, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Windowworks and on Facebook at Windowworks. If you have any window treatment or awning project and you are in the New Jersey, New York area, we'd be happy to help you, whether it's an interior designer or a retail client, we are open uh, to the public and we also have trade accounts. So we'd handle all the measuring and all the ordering for you and kind of take all that guesswork and stress off of your plate. So you can handle other parts of the project like we showed today with uh, Toledo and Geller. Very nicely done. Kim, thank you so much for joining me today. This is fun as always. I think we've become, you know, pretty, like pretty good at these. We're just, yes. um, um, you know, it's it, Friday at 12 o'clock. You know, you guys, we, we get on a few minutes before. How are you? Good. How are you? Let's share. Let's do a sound check. Mm -mm. How's my, how's my hair? How are my lips? No spinach. Let's go, girl. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. We'll have a great weekend. And if we won't see you next Friday, because it is the holiday, can't believe it's almost the end of the year. Um, so I hope everyone has a really great Thanksgiving. I know it's going to be a little different this year than other years, but that's all right. We will get through it like we all do. 2020, <laughs> here it is. Goodbye by now. Yeah. All, <laughs> all right. right. Join us every Friday because if it's Friday, it's Window Treatment Live when Kim and I talk about window treatments. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. Have a Goodbye, good day. Bye, everyone. Bye.